the nine. See the camera? You on the TV show? You on the documentary? Yes, you is. Yep. Yeah, you is. Zanai Kelly S. Jones. trees was here none of this shit was here this, this shit old as me these trees is old as me nigga it's crazy homie mailboxes and shit nigga I, 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 my first apartment was this one upstairs i used to get on the top of the roof up there you feel me with all my partners and shit yeah that was my first apartment over here then my grandma and then moved downstairs down here down here it wasn't none of these bushes and none of these trees and stuff here you feel me my partner lived next door my cousin uh he he related to my other uh, my other little cousin found that out when we moved here and shit you feel me uh 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 sugar shab sister used to stay right up there you feel me the homie anthony used to stay up there that shit crazy, oh, homie. These apartments seem so much bigger. And my grandma got work. Man, I started off selling crack, man. now I think I can rap. So much bigger. Right. Flipping sacks to flipping rap. Late oh, night watching for one time bus and chips. And if the enemies came through, nigga, we escaped the eclipse. I guess it's a out of See, I didn't come from no house. With parents all in it. Grandparents all in it. Family traditions, all that shit. I ain't come from that shit, my nigga. I came from right here, nigga. These apartments right here. And then when I came from these apartments, my nigga, I came from struggle. Food stamps, EBT. You know, grandma on welfare. She can't take care of me by herself. Not at all, homie. Can't take care of me by herself. So the system trying to help her. The government. What the fuck? Ain't no way to raise no fucking kid. Nigga, I had payless shoes. I had payless shoes all the way. I had Kmart shoes all the way up until my ninth grade year, freshman year, man. My grandma bought me some K-Swiss, nigga, with the with the all the all white K-Swiss, nigga, with the with the with the foam the foam bottom like the cheap 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 the cheap K-Swiss. So then. And, I don't, and, and she only bought that because I was crying and shit about the shit. I was like, man, everybody at school got their mama, man. This is some bullshit. All the shit. Nigga, my grandma went and bought me some fucking shoes, my nigga. And then them motherfuckers wore down to the bottom, nigga. Like, they were foam bottoms. So, nigga, wear them motherfuckers too many times, nigga. You gonna be stepping on gram. Concrete, nigga. That's where I come from. Then I had these uh, these Gary Paytons, nigga. These Gary Pays, nigga. I got from, I, I I I got off the candy van, nigga. I had to uh, uh, work on the candy van to even get anything because I was too young. Real shit. I was too young to even be on that motherfucker. I lied it's about my age and shit. Said I was uh, such such age, whatever. I think I said I'm 13. I was like only nine years old, my nigga. I think it's like 11 years old to be on a candy van or some shit, nigga. Got that little bit of money. I got kicked off the candy van because they figured out how old I was and shit. So I fuck around and went to uh went to the uh Rosie's, Rosie right there on 47th and uh, and Market, nigga. Went to Rosie's, nigga. Got me a pair of Gary pay Gary Payton's, nigga. The all white ones, nigga, with the uh, uh, all white and blue ones, nigga. 
Oh, rewind that. Rewind that. That wasn't that was my first name bearing pair of shoes, the K Swiss. It was the Gary Payton's that I paid for myself. And then my grandma finally paid for some when I was in the ninth grade. Then was my first ones by my grandma. Nigga, that shit crazy. My grandma lived off of unemployment. She was the tax preparer. They only do that four time, four, four months a year. And then after that, she's broke, bro. Welfare's helping her out. It's a cold game, but it is what it is, my nigga. She made that shit work, nigga. Shit, I'm happy I did go through that type of shit because if I didn't go through that type of shit, man, who the fuck knows where I'd be? Nigga, I'd probably be like, just like you sucking niggas, acting like y'all know the struggle, y'all real niggas, y'all come from this and y'all come from that. Whatever, nigga. Whatever, nigga. Check my background, nigga. I, I, nigga, my grandma ain't had nothing. My mama didn't have nothing, nigga. My, my daddy, my, 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 my daddy from from a different side of town, my nigga, so he was in and out of t in and out of jail and shit. So I couldn't I couldn't be uh, braced with his uh, his presence. So I grew up without a daddy. My mama, she moved to like uh the Midwest or some shit. Nigga had like four other kids and shit. Nigga, I live with grandma. Grandma took care of me, nigga. I was like well, See me stay on Instagram, ain't posting on Facebook. She used to get trained, ran on her, it's not a good look. She a fuck her sister, boyfriend, and daddy's homeboy. She a her best friend, but she knows she fucking her homeboy. Now she get cold, bitch. She a suck the next dick and dick and kiss you in the mouth. Don't kiss her in the mouth, so remember. I'm telling you, G-Y. I'm telling you, G-Y. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, man. Maybe she making it look good on the internet. Or something, you know what I mean? But... Shit, it might not be like that in person, huh? I don't know. Shit, she almost got me sold on it, don't nigga. Just posting this motherfucking bullshit on the internet, nigga. I don't know, man. I think I'm about to hit her at the end. Wish me luck. Yeah, nigga, for sure paid his rent, nigga, for sure stayed on top of his game, nigga, when the nigga stayed out here on the block, nigga, and stayed to it, you feel me? I'm just saying, uh, I'm just saying, homie, a nigga ain't looking for no handouts out here, nigga, since day one, since the nigga hopped off the porch, I'm telling you, my nigga, niggas was out here trying to get their motherfucking money right, my nigga, and if you was not trying to get your money right, nigga, you was not on any block I was on, because... Wherever I was at, nigga, um, that's what I'm on. I'm trying to get some money, nigga. What you want, nigga? I'm trying to get some money, nigga. You know what I mean? For sure, nigga. Dollar ski. You feel me? <laughs> ski that shit. But I'm going to tell you right now. It was like a point in time when it wasn't too many hustlers out here in my generation. So a nigga come from... Taking your hustle to a whole nother level or taking your uh, hustle to other platforms or other uh, uh, trades of work and shit like that. So when I say I think I could rap too, I ain't come from nigga sitting in the stoop, nigga ain't trying to rap, nigga fuck rapping, nigga. I'm going to tell you my motherfucking life story, nigga, and make sure that you know what's going on at all times, nigga. No, I'm going to... One of them niggas that ain't been through something too. My experience is priceless. Priceless, my nigga. There ain't no motherfucking page that you can put it on. Ain't no motherfucking platform that you can put it on that will even pull enough revenue off that shit. So it's a cold game out here, man. So you gotta wear a thick ass sweater. Thick ass sweater. You feel me? It keeps something. Keep them niggas up off you. Keep the haters up off you. You know. Cause it's been trials and tribulations through this whole through this whole situation with trying to manifest your own future, you know, and get it done. There's been days, nigga. I ain't even think I was gonna be able to ever try to get something done. There's been days where I was man. On top of my game. In the blink of your eye. Snap of your fingers. Like that old shit can come on to an end. So I will I me personally speaking to the youth, if they listening, don't do nothing stupid out there. Don't let nobody gas you up into some bullshit. Man, don't have yourself washed up because somebody else 
influences you to do something that you do not really want to do. That's why I bring it to the light. This I think I can rap shit because I want people to understand that people were trying to go to the NBA, people were trying to go to the MLB, you know what I'm saying? You know, uh, trying to become a rapper is like probably one out of a billion. Who, who gonna click on your shit? Who gonna make sure that you get your motherfucking streams right? Where your fan base at? How serious you are you about this shit? And then it ain't even just about how serious you is about this rap shit. It's, it, it, it gotta go with every single thing you do in life, homie. You hustle, you go to school, you, you play basketball, you play baseball, whatever the case may be. Nigga, you gotta have work ethic. You gotta have consistency. You gotta be really on top of your shit. That's all, that's all. People can be fabricated all they want, homie. But as long as you stay consistent, you have a work that they call me, you will survive. And anything that you do, go hard or go home. Like E40 said. You feel me? This is, this is what it is. And, I, uh, and me, personally, since we got on the top, topic of E40 and stuff like that, that's one of the first rappers that has influenced me to rap. First, one of the first ones, you know what I mean? Uh, E-40, because of the slang, the way he talked, the way he spit that shit, the way he come up with his own shit. That's where all that ski shit come from. The ski is a, come from Mac Dre and them. And Mac Dre and E-40, you feel me? And then my my uh, my smooth, cool, you know what I mean? Laid back, motherfucker. But I can uh, uh, on you one time. Come from. Snoop Dogg, Snoop, and that strategic, I don't give a fuck attitude, it's whatever nigga, you tried me, oh I, I gotta, I go, oh I gotta get it, I gotta get at you about this, I might make a diss song about it or something like that, or, or address it on the internet, that's them 50 cent ways that I got in me, that's them 50 cent ways. Like addressing that shit Like now Not tomorrow Now Nigga This where it all started at man This where it all started at man Me and B Ski man Middle Jordan. shit volume one You feel me Right here What year was that market, nigga. What year was that I don't fucking remember the year nigga <laughs>